Hello, Uncle Dave here with another video about your new Karma Flights computer. In this video we're going to study preferences. These are your preferences for settings that basically you administered up here. We defined what settings we were going to have through various administrations and then actually set the values here. You can see that we have accessibility. That means if you have problems seeing or using the keyboard, typing, or with a mouse, you can change some settings. For instance, if we have visual problems, we can change it to high contrast. That allows some people to see much better than others. Okay, there's our standard way of seeing things. So we can change the, our, our interface and how things look this way. Basically, if we look over preferences, gosh, we can change almost anything. And that's true. We could change account details. We could change the password, for instance. Enter here, the old and the new one. No problem. We could change our picture if we have a desire to do so. We can also have applets, which we do. Applets are little programs that run on the desktop. And one of the applets we have, for instance, is, well, let's look at this one. This desktop applet that allows us to see this over here. This is the desktop applets icon. And so if I turn that off by clicking it and then saying uh, remove from panel, for instance, or configuring it, and then saying that it was off, so we can peek at the desktop by hovering over it. And blur effect is off. So, and here's how we set the delay. So if we don't want to take a look at it when we hover over it, and that's behavior is hovering over it, then we just go ahead and set that. So we can change a lot of different settings. The best way to learn about most of these is just to play, but there's a few that we really should take a look at. So let's go take background. So we could set background this way. We could set it through the desktop. Yeah, let's go ahead. Oh, desklets are just special applets, like the ones we were just talking about, except they just run on the desktop. You can take a look at the, those. They operate the same way as the applets. So backgrounds, we could set the background here. There's lots of different ways. If we wanted the background, for instance, to be a hot air balloon trip, but there we go. No problem. We could also go ahead and set the background back to what it was by going with our using our file manager and then going ahead and opening up our location for our Karma Flights stuff and inside of there is going to be my web page and on here is this we could have Dave be the desktop background or we could have our old Karma Flights logo and so let's do that by right clicking on it and then setting it as the desktop and so this shows us that we have multiple ways of uh, doing almost everything. So once again, let's take a look at some more preferences. And the next one that's really, that's pretty important that we understand is the preferred applications. So as we come down here, we eventually get to preferred applications now, preferred applications are the applications that are going to be automatically invoked inside of 
of um, the file management tool when you select it. And so if, for instance, we can see for our photos that we have pics is our default, if we wanted to change that default to be image viewer instead of pics when we selected it, then we would just do that. And that works real well. So this is the association between, once again, the program that's going to handle a particular file type and that file type. So we also have a similar kind of a thing with something else we want to look at. And that's way down below even preferred. So as we move on down, we see there's also startup applications. So if we open this guy, we can see that these are the programs that the operating system wants you to start and, and are automatically started for you. If you wanted Firefox also to be automatically started for you, you could probably go ahead and do that. You could say add here. And you could say add an application. And so you could come down here and select the application that you wanted. And, it's, and when you did that, then when your computer started up, there's my browser, it would automatically bring up the browser when the computer started. So that can help. That can help make things uh, simpler. All right, that's it. Take care.